Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Dangle George, a social media marketing online coach. And in this video, I am basically going to reveal the tips, tricks and strategies that I use to literally 100x my productivity. No, I don't waste no time. So guys, welcome back to the video. So like I said in the introduction, today I'm going to be revealing some strategies and thought processes um, that will literally 100x your productivity like it has done to mine. And uh, I just want to start off this video with a quote from Robin Sharma, which is a quote that I uh, read a while back, but I've written it down in my notebook. So um, you know, that is basically you know, what helps me remind myself that you know I do need to basically focus on this and uh, try and become you know, the most productive that I can be. And the quote is as follows, an addiction to distraction will be the death of your creative production. So I said that is a quote from Robin Sharma. And why I think this is really interesting is because everything around us is basically built to distract us from you know everything else in the world. For those of you that have watched The Social Dilemma, which is a documentary on Netflix, um, you, know, you guys will see you know social media is built to keep you wired in and engage with that platform for as long as possible. Why? Because they monetize the newsfeed. They can show you advertisements on that newsfeed and then earn money off the back of that. Okay. So the attention that you know is basically generated with Facebook allows them to let advertisers advertise on that newsfeed because they can just tell the advertisers, listen, I've got a hundred million eyeballs uh, on you know this platform at this moment in time. So if you want you know to promote your products and services, then you need to pay up, you know, pay us, which in this case Facebook, um, and then we'll show your products and services to you know this hundred million uh, group of people that are now basically on our platform. So what they do is they try and keep you on social media, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram for as long as possible. And you know, therefore they can then monetize and basically earn money off of the advertisements and advertisers that are showing their products and services on the platform. And you know, you guys are now watching this on YouTube. If you are on desktop, if you look on the right hand side, unless you've got it on full screen, but if you look on the right hand side, there are already recommended videos they're just waiting for you there to click on them. And maybe if you look on the top right, you'll see an advertisement as well. And that is basically why YouTube is, you know, designed in such a way because they can show those advertisements like you can see on the right top of the screen um, so that, you know, they can earn money off of it. And the more uh, or the longer they can keep you on the platform, the more money they earn. And that is why uh, The Social Dilemma, which was such a shocking documentary, because it shows you exactly what they are trying to do with social media and you know basically with the internet and yes you know social media is one aspect of it but there are so many distractions on a daily basis notifications on your phone notifications on your computer your laptop your desktop you know there are people coming in and out you know if you live in a dorm room or anything like that you know there's also a bell that people are ringing to try and you know get your attention there are you know there's people outside there's news on the television there's so much distraction in the world and that is basically all limiting your time you know of course if you consume it limiting your time uh, that you can actually spend on doing stuff that is productive and as the saying goes you know if you want to live like the one percent so if you want to basically have the financial wealth and well-being of you know people that are in the one percent then you need to start doing what the 99 percent are not willing to do okay so if you want to live like the cream of the crop like the absolute winners of the world financially then you'll basically need to start doing what they do and you know not copying what 99% of uh, the population is doing and again you know this is another thing that I think is really important because um, do you really think that the cream of the crop the 1% are spending so much time on 9gag on reddit on twitter um, you know they are following every single news article do you really think they're watching cat videos on the internet you know probably not so you know you need to start thinking in that way as well or is what you are currently doing really getting you closer to your goals or are you just stalling time and you know basically um, wasting away you know while you could be doing something more productive and you know for this you need to start thinking about your environment so um, you know we've all heard that quote I think it was from Bruce Lee 
where uh, he basically says, you know, be like water. So if water goes into a cup, it basically becomes the cup because it literally, you know, becomes, um, it spreads out into the environment of the cup. And if water goes into a bowl, the same thing, you know, it basically just mimics the size of the bowl and becomes the bowl. And that is because water basically adapts to its surroundings, to its environment. And what Bruce Lee basically said is you need to start doing the same thing. So you need to start uh, adapting your environment to become more productive. And if you are surrounded by people that are constantly watching television, constantly, you know, tagging each other in memes and stuff like that, then you will become that environment as well. You will start doing the same thing. You know, you will basically start taking over their bad habits. So you need to also really focus on your environment and just think to yourself, is your environment toxic or is it, you know, basically, are you surrounded by people that are actually going to propel you forward and make you more productive? And that is where obviously, you know, the average of five comes into it. And uh, they always say, you know, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So just make sure that the people you spend most time with are actually people that are going to propel you forward and are actually, you know, high performers, you know, regardless of what field or industry they are in, because of course, you know, we can always learn from all the industries and all the fields. And when I look at people that I surround myself with, yes, the majority are online entrepreneurs and digital marketers, but I also have entrepreneur friends that are in completely different fields. And it's very, very interesting to hear from them and to basically hear their perspective and their side of things. Okay, now quick disclaimer before we do continue this video, because we do have all of these videos and, and you know pieces of content on the internet that basically tell us to grind harder, work harder, work longer, and so on and so forth. But uh, for me, you know, what I stand for is lifestyle design. And that is basically that triple freedom concept, you know, basically having financial freedom, freedom of time, and also location freedom uh, to basically do what I want, when I want, uh, whatever I want, and live life on my own terms. And for me, it's not about working longer or working harder. It's more about working smarter and basically, you know, being focused at times when I need to focus so that I can then uh, basically go on and, you know, do things that I actually want to do. Because at the end of the day, it's, you know, we are entrepreneurs because we want the freedom, right? And yes, there's a time and place for working hard. There's a time and place for, you know, putting in the hours, but we only want to be able to put in the hours if we know that the result of that is not necessarily more work, but it's actually more freedom. So what I would suggest, and one of my biggest tips for, uh, you know, basically increasing your productivity is the 1991 rule. And this is not something that I've come up with myself. Um, I cannot remember who actually came up with this. It's something that I have been applying for a while. For those of you that uh, were in the AM club, which was a Facebook group that I had about two years ago, um, that was based on this principle. And the 1991 rule basically uh, is as follows. For the next 90 days, get up 90 minutes earlier and spend those first 90 minutes of the day on one task or one project that you want to basically improve or you know get finished. So again, I repeat, for the first or for the next 90 days, for the first 90 minutes, so you can get up 90 minutes earlier and then for the first 90 minutes of every single day, focus on one task or one project um, that will basically, you know, propel you forward and make you more productive or, you know, or basically earn you more money or anything along those lines. You know, whatever that may be for you, whatever it is that you want out of life, whatever your goals are for this year, focus on that for the first 90 minutes of every single day for the next 90 days. And you'll notice that because it's not necessarily time that is otherwise spent on other things, it's literally time that you've gained by getting up 90 minutes earlier um, you'll notice that you'll get so much more done and you'll be much more productive. And especially in the morning times, because in the morning times, we will have the most willpower, the most focus, and of course, you know, provides you go to bed early, also the most energy. Okay. And then of course, you know, the whole morning routine and the nighttime routine and getting enough amount, you know, enough sleep, etc., is a story for another day. And I will be doing a video on that very, very soon. But in the morning, there are less distractions because people are still sleeping. There are less, uh, basically people messaging you because you're not usually up at that time. And like I said, you'll have more willpower because you've gotten up earlier for just that specific task, okay? So 90, 91. And notice the way I said one project, not 10 different things at, at, at once. You know, I want you to focus all your, literally your energy, your willpower, and again, focus on one thing, okay? Less is more when it comes to things like this. It's not you, you don't want to be a jack of all trades. You want to become an expert at one thing and really focus all your time and energy in that one thing. You know, uh, for example, uh, Michael Jordan is not the best footballer in the world. Um, you know, Lionel Messi, Mohamed Salah, Cristiano Ronaldo aren't the best snooker players in the world because they have all focused 
on one thing and they want to become the best at that one thing okay so in your case don't try affiliate marketing social media marketing drop shipping um you know staying up to date with all of your friends catching up on the news watching twitter all at once just focus on one task that you really want to become better at or you know one task that will literally you know earn more money with your business or whatever your goal may be and just go all in on that then when it comes to your uh, productivity like i said less is more we don't want to be spending all of our days working hard and putting in like 12 to 15 hour shifts the goal is to basically go in and go out and you know basically be done with the work you know do all of the income producing activities and then basically remove yourself from that process and go on with your day and a very very effective way of doing that is by working in work blocks and it's one of them i have a love hate relationship with work blocks um you know i was a big fan of them then i went off them because you know work blocks basically force you to do something in 90 minute increments then take a break um and for example uh, quentin and jovan uh, basically two friends of mine from choose pristine they basically say you know do not work in work blocks just go in, spend as much time you need getting stuff done and then remove yourself from the process and basically continue with life, which in a way is a work block in itself, you know, but just a longer work block. Um, but what I'm trying to get across with the work blocks is basically having an isolated bubble of time where you remove all distractions, you turn off notifications, you switch off anything you do not need and just focus on the task at hand. Focus on it until it's done and then again, remove yourself from the process. And what I actually like to do and what I've actually started doing lately with my business is also having basically isolated um, you know, tasks or isolated uh, days even where I do not take any meetings. So for example, for me, Monday is a meetingless day. I focus on creating a YouTube video for you guys I've got um, you know, a live session in the evening. Other than that, I'm just focused on getting stuff done for that week. So on Mondays, even if the biggest client of the world uh, wants to schedule a call me on a Monday, they can't. All of the calendars are blocked off on Monday. Um, for those of you that want to enroll in the coaching, you can still book a call on Monday, but it would just won't be me taking it. Uh, we've got a team set in place to do that. So on Mondays, I am basically not available for any clients or any meetings or any kind of business opportunities because I'm focused on the tasks at hand. So when you are working on your, um, you know, basically your tasks in the work blocks, make sure that all of your notifications are switched off. Um, what I do is I have a distraction blocker switched on on YouTube, which basically removes all those recommended videos, which I mentioned earlier in this uh, video. Or what I also have is all my notifications switched off on Instagram, Facebook, etc. I do not reply to any messages and any DMs. Um, I don't really do so anymore. Anyway, I do have an assistant that does that for me. But regardless, you know, when I'm in a deep wave block, I will switch everything off. And what I'll do is I'll put my phone on night mode and then basically just put it uh, on the other side of the room. So that cannot distract me. All of the notifications on my laptop are off as well. And I basically get stuff done. And then lastly, to wrap up this video, what I also make sure is that I only work on one thing at a time. So I have one tab open. I do one task and I remove all the distractions because of a thing called the cognitive switching penalty, which is a term that I came across when I was reading the book, The Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman. And he basically says that it takes up to 21 minutes to regain your focus if you get distracted. So let's say you're in deep work mode and you get a notification from a client that's asking you to send over a file and you do it because it only takes 90 seconds or two minutes to do that. You know, to find the file and send it via email, it then takes up to 21 minutes to actually go back to the task at hand and to regain that same you know, flow state of focus. And it's also very, very tiresome as well. You know, if you're constantly switching tasks, if you're multitasking and you're getting all these stimuluses, you know, from left, right and center, then that is going to be very, very tiring. And you'll notice that at the end of the day, you'll be absolutely drained because of all the, you know, all the adrenaline and dopamine that you've received from all those notifications and all those distractions. And you'll also notice that it takes much, much longer to get stuff done because, you know, what usually should be done in like 90 minutes will actually take you two to three hours because you're constantly switching tasks, okay? So I hope you got some out of this video. If you like in like content like this, you know, if you want to know more about productivity and mindset, please let me know in the comments down below because this is something that I do think is really, really important. And I do think that a lot of sort of entrepreneurial um, content and channels on the internet are not really uh, mentioned this or are just brushing over it because, you know, everything and everyone needs to be in that work hard, uh, grind hard kind of attitude. And in my opinion, you know, lifestyle design is actually a much more effective and efficient way of getting stuff done. But like I said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>